Does the Bible give any justification for abortion? Well, let me show you the passage that many people will cite. Numbers chapter 5, verses 11 through 31. Now, we're not going to read all those verses because there's one verse in particular that people focus in on that they claim supports abortion, and that is verse 27. Let me show you here. Here we have Numbers chapter 5, verse 27. It says here, If she has made herself impure and been unfaithful to her husband, this will be the result. When she is made to drink the water that brings a curse and causes bitter suffering, it will enter uh, her, her abdomen will swell, and her womb will miscarry, and she will become a curse. So there you have it. You know, the, the Bible definitely teaches that uh, a womb will miscarry if this woman is done wrong, right? Well, if you have a King James Bible, you know better. You see, because I was just reading out of the uh, 2011 NIV. Okay, let me show you here. There it is, 2011 NIV. This is the newest one. All right, that's what I was reading out of. Let me show you what the King James Bible actually says. This is why it's so important to have the right Bible. Numbers chapter 5. Let me get to it here. Verse 27. And when he hath made her to drink the water, then it shall come to pass that if she be defiled and have done trespass against her husband, that the water that causeth the curse shall enter into her and become bitter, and her belly shall swell, and her thigh shall rot and the woman shall be a curse among her people. Do you see anything in there about her womb miscarrying? No. Um, and I just would like to point out something for the people out there that say that the, all the Bibles say the same thing. Um, womb miscarrying and thigh rotting are uh, not the same thing. Okay, The NIV is not updating the archaic King James Bible. Her thigh to or her thigh shall rot. Is there anything archaic about that? No. See, the King James Bible is saying that this curse comes upon her, her belly swells and her thigh rots. The NIV gives ground for abortion. The NIV actually has God performing an abortion. Think about that. Think about that. The priest says to this woman, drink this this you know bitter water here, drink this, you know, thing. And if you're in sin, God's going to punish you by aborting your baby, according to the NIV. According to the King James Bible, her thigh rots. According to the NIV, her womb miscarries. God aborts the baby. And you want me to believe that this thing is of God? Nope. Sorry, not going to do it. This corrupted Vatican version right here it comes from the Vatican... Vaticanus and Sinaiticus, you can look up that stuff. It's not my theory. It's not some kind of a conspiracy. Part of the NIV translation work was done at the University of Salamanca in Spain, a Roman Catholic university. Okay? Watch my other videos for proof of that. This is a Roman Catholic Bible. This is not a Bible for Christians. Okay? It comes from the Vatican's own text. So, it's junk. Let me show you a couple other of these new versions. Here's a good one, you know, how about the uh, Catholic Youth Bible, you know, New Reviled Substandard Perversion, you know, New, New Revised Standard Version. Numbers chapter 5, verse 27, let's see where we at here, down here, verse 27, when he has made her drink the water, then if she has defiled herself and has been unfaithful to her husband, the water that brings the curse shall enter into her and cause bitter pain, and her womb shall discharge her uterus drop and the woman shall be called come an excretion among her people so again you have the new reviled or, excuse me new revised standard version teaching the same basic thing okay her womb you know and and her uterus i mean yeah that's the same thing as the thigh sure how about the message one of the most pathetic, ridiculous things that you'd ever want to, you know, read. It says here, actually I'm going to have to back up a little bit here. Okay. 
if she has defiled herself in being unfaithful to her husband, when she drinks the water that delivers a curse, it will enter her body and cause her acute pain. Her belly will swell and her womb shrivel. Uh, womb and thigh are not the same thing. Okay? Incredible. How ridiculous. And one more here. Here we have the uh, extremely stupid version. I mean, uh, English standard version. Numbers, there's the book of Numbers, chapter 5 and verse 27 right here. When he has made her drink the water, then if she has defiled herself and has broken faith with her husband, the water that brings the curse shall enter into her and cause bitter pain, and her womb shall swell, and her thigh shall fall away. You know, thigh shall fall away versus thigh shall rot. Uh-huh. You know, but again, see, they changed belly swelling to womb specifically centering around where a baby is formed. So again, all of these new versions that come from the Vatican, they are all lending credence to this thing of, you know, if a woman is in sin, God will abort her baby. You know, and, and my wife and I were just discussing it this morning. We'll be bringing out more information on this eventually. But, you know, the, the Catholic Catechism actually talks about forced sterility being a good thing in some cases. All right. And you say, well, I know that Catholics oppose abortion. Well, you know, maybe in some ways, yeah, but in other ways, uh, no, they're actually for it. Okay. So it's no big surprise that their new versions, the Vatican versions over here, would support the thing of not only abortion, but God himself causing the abortion. You aren't going to find that in the King James Bible. You aren't going to find God causing abortion or being for abortion in the King James Bible. And I will oppose people that stand for that. I don't oppose everything that they do or everything that they've ever done. I know that there are Christian brethren that, that have questions on the thing of when a child becomes you know, officially a baby or whatever else. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. We're, you know, not going to get into that in debate in this video here. But the fact of the matter is, I'm very much against abortion, and I believe the King James Bible is very much against abortion as well. So, the King James Bible does not have an error at that point. And unfortunately, these new versions, people can use these to teach the satanic heresy of abortion. And they can teach that God's the one that did it. Don't use this junk here. Use a King James Bible and a King James Bible only. All right? Be a Bible-believing Christian. That's what I recommend.